Hi, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Unpacked with me, your host, Jan Sport. We have my very lovely guest right here, all the way from All Star Season 6, my sister, Silky Nutmeg and I. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Silky. So, we are going to talk about the entrance looks from All Stars 8, which premieres on Paramount Plus May 12th which is when we're going to be at DragCon. Are you excited for DragCon? I'm going to be at DragCon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what number your booth is? 228. Okay, go check out Silky, 228 at DragCon. And, and? 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 That's my zip code. So, on my phone. No, zip code or area code? Your area code. Area code. Oh, my, oh my goodness, why did I get that mixed up? <laughs> it's my area code, so you only have seven more numbers to figure out. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let the guessing games begin. <laughs> so you can go 228-000-0000. Start there, mama. There you go. I love it. Um, I'm going to be at 1815, I think. Oh, that's a number. They did not... Uh, <laughs> And you know what the real gag is? They made Face Crack Alley this year, which is hilarious. And you're not on it. And I'm not on Face Crack Alley. You know what? Why are the people coming for our gigs this year? I have no idea. We have worked so hard to brand ourselves, and then they don't even exactly. want to put us on the brand. That's like not having Stacey Lane Matthews on Stacey Lane Matthews Lane. Like, it's, <laughs> you, you know? But, of course, it's one over. So I'm Face Crack alley adjacent so dang yeah you know what it is what it is well come see us at dracon 1815 1815 and 228 love it come see us there everyone swipe up okay so let's get into these all-stars entrance looks now silky i know that you are the queen of the entrance look always a prop always glamour always something going on season Purr. 11 you walked in Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Silky Ganache is here to eat the lunch. <laughs> Pulls out cookie. Takes a bite. All-Stars season six, you walk in. Munch, munch. Now Silky's here for dinner. Move over, girls. It's your winner. Um, season 11, I came for the lunch. All-Stars six, I came for the dinner. Look out, bitch, I am your winner. Yes. Pulls out a cookie and milk. You know what's funny? What? Cornbread made that up. Really? Yeah, that I interest that. line. I love that. So she gave you that inspiration for that moment. She did. And you really took it there. That look, that hair, bitch, down. And you know, that was an accident. Was it? Yes. Tell me more. So the hair that I was supposed to wear with that outfit somehow was crushed and like traveling no and i never knew it until i took it out the bag at the hotel like day of the day of because i was just like here's my hair why would you think that it would be bad yeah I, it, and so it was brand new it was crushed it was messed up no. and i forgot that long ponytail <laughs> in the closet and that was the only thing there Holy shit. And so that's what I ended up wearing. That's crazy, girl. I had no idea. Yeah. And I mean, it worked so well. That, uh, happy accident, to be honest. Because they had came and got our luggage, so I, I couldn't have a backup or anything. They don't tell you about that when you go to film Drag Race. Stuff will get fucked up in the, in the way over. Like, mm -hmm. that suitcase is packed to the brim. My first season, I had to get rid of 50 pounds of stuff. Oh, Yeah. Oh, Not wow. Good. Mm -mm. That's one gown for me. <laughs> but it's crazy how much you have to pack and then, like, how much you can or can't take. And then sometimes some people will get a little extra. Some people won't. Like, I don't I, – I just think I – I think it should not, like, bring what you can. 
I think you know like what you can for the you efforts know? of a TV show. If you want the best TV show, you should want everybody to bring it. You know, Canada versus the world. It got to the morning where I was supposed to leave, and I called them and said, "I'm not coming." And they said, "Why not?" I said, "You know what? I'm a plus size girl, uh, and I I don't have enough room, and I, I'm really? I'm not doing the season eleven all star sits where I'm leaving shoes and valuable things behind. No, you want me? You gonna bring all of my stuff? Or you're not bringing any." And they said, you know, make it work and come on by and bring it. Get and they paid plane. for it. Amazing. So, you know, sometimes we just need a little pushback. We don't, we don't know our own strength sometimes. Come on, girl. But it only took the third time for me to tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> Probably why I lost, you know. <laughs> oh, and, but you, but something you did win was everyone voted that you had the best entrance look. Right? Yeah, and you brought out a glass of uh, like was it champagne? A glass of champagne. Oh my god! Welcome to the club. Glass of champagne and just say, "Prepare to be sick of me." I love it, and it, you looked so fucking fab with all those feathers. Oh, thank you. Yeah, mama. You want to know something funny about I was that there look? With you. That was supposed to be my oops look for All Star no. Six. Oh, oh my god! And my look didn't make it to Canada in time, so I, I brought that just for a backup. Period. It will. <laughs> The proof was on the pudding. It was okay. a good fucking look. Girl, I have a lot of stuff that I have not worn from All Star Six. Totally. Oh, I was the one who was like, let me put up a picture every single week and just show every single person. And have I put any of those on my body since? No. Trauma. Um, exactly. Absolutely. All right, let's judge some of these girls in our little version of pack it, rack it, or sack it. So for those of you who don't know, if we pack it, that means, honey, I love the look. It's going in the bag. I'm wearing it at the gig. If you rack it, it's okay. I love this look. Just maybe not for right now. Maybe I don't even love it. Maybe I'm phasing it out. It's okay. Sack it, no mama. I'm not wearing it, okay? So we're going to go through all of the girls' entrance looks and see how they are looking. First up, we have our sister, Heidi in Closet. And Heidi's my season 12 sister. And I think this is cute. It's giving me executive moment with a little twist. She has those lip, that lip bag that she like walked in first, gap first. Miss Heidi walk into the room gap first. Um, but I like this look. I think it's cute. It's, um, it's, a, it's a racket for me because it's not... I, I I will say Heidi did tell me something that she was going to do for this run for for this entrance look, and I'm wondering if it's going to be something else later on. But I what I thought it was going to be, I was like gag bitch, and this is really cute. But it's not my favorite thing I've ever seen Heidi in. What do you think? No, it's not my favorite, but I guess it goes back to like her season twelve, so like upgraded look of her like her sportswear. Um, it's it's a racket for me, you know, racket yeah. ball, it ain't, it ain't, you know. It's good. She looks it's good. It's good. Yes. And I'm glad she covered up those toes. So, you know, really good. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you okay. remember that on the bus? <laughs> oh, my God. We're not going to get into it. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. We can't. We can't. Okay. Next up is Mrs. Kasha Davis. Um, now... I'm going to have to say, unfortunately, it's going to be a, a sacket for me. I'm not obsessed with this look. And I really like Kasha. Um, but something just feels a little... I've seen this before. And, like, I feel like I've seen this in Kasha on season seven. And I wanted to see something different for All Stars 8. You know what I mean? What do you think? I agree. Um, like, couple for me, her promo look was so beautiful and well done to, like, this one's just like, well, yeah, I had this in a, let me just throw this on, yeah. Right, exactly. But I don't know if it's because of that or it's the, the shoes, mama, the shoes. The shoes are sending me, the shoes are sending me for sure. And then the, um, it's the black flower in the hair for me. Right. <laughs> Something is just, and, like, the the lips, I mean, it's it's drag, that's for sure. The lip. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> it's a sacket for me. Um, sacket for you, for Kasha? Racket, packet, sacket? Ah, sacket. Okay. 
Moving on to Nasha Lopez. Burn it. Yeah. I don't like this look. It's this, not it's a no for me, mama. Baby. Um I do not love this look. I do not love the hair. I, don't I do like not love about the it. silhouette. I do not love why is she in jail? What was her what was her line? I don't even know what her entrance line was, so maybe that's me not doing research. She, but um, she was going to jail? She should have been in jail, room. baby. She went came straight from jail in that. I this is a no. She for just me. got released. No, I, I No for real. Maybe no body, no hips. That's the other thing too. She has such an insane body. In her pro I loved her promo and I really like Nasha. But this to me, I don't know. Like it's it's weird. I don't it doesn't make sense to me. I don't know. Hated it. Sack it. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. Your season 11 sister, Kahana Montree. Baby, so. we go unpack it. it Baby, is. she looks lovely. I think Kahana is the one girl that's going to have the biggest glow up this season. For sure. She looks amazing, completely packing this. Like, yeah, like this is what I want to see. Like, this is like a moment. You know what I mean? She's like, I'm back because... She's completely redone. She's completely new. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, this is exciting to me. I'm like excited to see what she's going to do. The other girls look so far. I'm like, I'm not excited to see what you're going to bring. Granted, I'm saying this too as somebody who wore a, a, a Skims two-piece to walk into All Stars season six. So I have no room to really say much about this, okay? But, uh, but as somebody who can address that for myself... This is like exactly what I want to see, and this is amazing. But it's actually like main stage worthy. Totally, like this is Vegas Live. Like very totally love it. The showgirls back. Period. Okay, next up from season thirteen, it's Candy Muse. I love this. This is a packet for me. She looks yanked. Look at her mug, girl. She is like so stamped. I can't even zoom in that much. Yeah, she looks lovely. Yeah, what do you think about it? I, I think she looked lovely. I enjoy the colors on her. She, it, it's a um, it's a definitely packet for me. Yeah, the I will wear it. Totally, I could see you in something like this. The color combination is amazing. I love this like ice ice platinum blonde. As oh, it's so good. Her highlight is like boom. It is. It's it highlight in your. It is high. Light girl, okay. Right, High she light, painted the bright. spotlight in that mug. She sure did. I live. I, yeah, <laughs> totally. She said, "I don't need to find the light. It's on me." I love that. Okay, moving on. Darian Lake. Uh, Darian Lake is a woman. Y'all cannot tell me anything differently, <laughs> <laughs> baby. Like the body is there. Like the proportion is. Oh, wreck from the titties oh. to the ass to the hips the to hair. the hair, girl, the mug totally, baby. That's it, she's a woman, right? And like, if I have to just say the dress itself, not my favorite, mm -hmm. the way Darian looks in this dress and is carrying it. Pack it for me. She looks fantastic. Everything is accentuated in like the perfect way. I love that she came in here with this little. Hey, like this little humana moment down just a little curl on the bottom mm -hmm. oh i'm just uh, just a little curl down here just oh it's so flouncy like i love it like, she, like for real she yeah. looks like she's about to go to what's a, what's a boo pta meeting no, yes and but be the only mother at that pta meeting, at the okay? pta meeting after going to like um whole foods or some shit you know <laughs> <laughs> like, I love it. Like, look I at her. It. She looks like a sex doll, too. She do look like a sex oh, kid. Yeah. Her lips. Oh, are my. Her, didn't she have that thing in all, in um, season six where she was like, and her lips really shine? Something like that. Sure. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she did with Ben de la Creme. I remember it. And they both had to lip sync in that episode. Oh, my God. The knowledge just pouring out of me. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Next up is Monica Beverly Hills from season five. She is giving us Girl Scout in this moment. She said, honey, I'm back and I'm selling cookies. And I love it. I think this is a packet for me. I'm excited to see 
what she has going forward in the competition. Um, what do you think? I'm so excited to see her. Monica was one of the girls at Continental um, a couple of years back. She, like, bought me a drink, and she's like, thank you for recognizing me, because we had an interview during press week of All Star Six, where it's like, who would you like to see back? Yeah. And I said, Monica Beverly Hills, because yeah. she's not the same girl that she was. And Monica is sick, and I had the opportunity to work with her. So I was just like, I want to see Monica. And like to see her back and to see her just shine. She looks lovely. I, I just can't wait to see more from her. Me too. She looks so good. This is so much fun. I, I don't know. I love it. I think this is, I think. Her and Kahana are so far some of my faves. And mm -hmm. Candy. Um, next up is my castmate from How the Bitch Stole Christmas, the hit Christmas movie that I know is everybody's favorite. <laughs> Did the check clear? <laughs> Girl, the check cleared while it was during All Stars. Si we All Stars. Si <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh, Child, we are we about to fall off. Wait, pause it. No, don't pause. Keep going. Okay. We well, just, I mean, you know what I said? Did the check clear? And look at the Lord trying to give me a wonder. check. That was World of Wonder saying, do not bite the hand that feeds you raw. Oh, I almost got me a check. Hold on, <laughs> I should have flipped back. Whew, I said, should the check clear? It's called red eye. It could have been Silky's eyes. <laughs> Honey, oh. Somebody's eyes are watching. I love oh it. I almost had a check. Why did I, why did I hold on? I could have. I had some money. Pause it again. Pause it. <laughs> oh, my neck. Like my <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, sorry. We were talking about the greatest Christmas film of all time. Uh, <laughs> James Mansfield is the next to step into the workroom. And I like this look a lot. I think this is really cool for James. I love the hat. I love the silhouette for her. She is bodied down. Don't love the shoe, but overall it's good for me. I don't know if it's a packet or a racket for me. What do you think, Selk? It's a racket. Yeah. Um, for me, um, James is just wearing what James typically wears. So Sure. There's nothing different about what you're seeing right now. Yeah, I, I think because like I, I felt like she actually wore that at the uh, – the finale of season 15, oh. minus that big bow in the back. So, you know, sure. <laughs> it's all it's, the same. It's definitely a James silhouette. I wish that it was made out of something that wasn't that fabric. Like, maybe if the fabric had, like, something on it, like a pattern. I, I feel like it's just, like, a neoprene. And I'm like, I want to see something a little more. I, I will say it is very put together. Like, the details are great. Mm -hmm. I love the hair. It, but it is a racket for me. I yeah, think yeah, it's a I racket. think it could have been zhuzhed a little bit. Just mm -hmm. a bit. Just a little more something. But it's bordering packet. It's really close. It's just okay. I'm like, it's between this and another garment, and I'm going to pick the other garment. That's what it is for me. I always the other garment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> totally. Okay, next up. Is my mother, Alexis Michelle. Alexis Michelle is your mother? Yes! Did you not know this? No! Alexis Michelle is my drag mother. Oh, girl. girl. So, how I met Alexis was she had filmed um, season nine right when I was starting drag. And mm -hmm. we had done a competition where she was the. Uh, we were both on the judges' panel because it was my first time in drag in New York City. I had won the competition. Um, and then I got to judge the, like, month after. And Alexis had just got back, and I did a Kris Jenner number. And she had done Kris Jenner on the show, unbeknownst to me. And she saw that as, like, kind of a sign. She was like, oh, this bitch is giving us musical theater. She's singing. She's doing Kris Jenner. I'm going to bring her into the house. And um, that's sure what she did. And, um, I, and now I'm one of Alexis Michelle's daughters. Um, and we got to bond over that. And... You know what I'm really bonding with? This fucking look. Um, <laughs> girl, this is my favorite, not just because she's my mother, but because she is Yankee Doodle Dandy, okay? She is yanked, my mama. Oh my God, this dress, hot and sexy. The hair, sex. The mug, ooh, it's so good. It's, everything is correct. She was like, ooh. 
I look so good at hers. And I, I loved it. What do you think about this? I think she is yanked. And I feel like, you know what? One of the things that I dislike about All Stars, some girls feel like they are entitled to come back. But then you have some girls that have been waiting on that moment to come yeah. back. And you can tell that she was waiting on the moment to come back because totally. she looks amazing. And it's so exciting. Even from her her promo look that right. that just so uh, effortless. Yes. So I'm so excited to see her. Totally. And to see what she brings this season. Girl, I'm excited for you, mama. Pack it. Okay. Next up is Jessica Wild all the way from season two. So many quotes from this one. Um, I love this drink. Baby acai. Yes, berry acai. Baby. Buckle diddle do. I love her. Um, I just don't know what's going on in this look. I don't hate it by any means. It's not a sacket for me. But I just feel like maybe I just have a bad angle. Something about the way that there's not enough Skin showing. It just feels very covered up for me. You know what it's giving me? What is it giving you? I feel like she was waiting to come back to All Stars 2, but each year they didn't call her. She added something to that look. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> but you're not wrong. Like, you're not. Like, oh, y'all ain't going to call like, me back? Let me add the ruffles. Oh, you ain't going to call me back? Let me add the flowers. Oh, you ain't going to call me back? Let me add the shoulder pads. <laughs> Oh, you ain't gonna call me back? Let me add a bustle. Like, <laughs> why not throw in a like a crown? A crown? Like, why not? I, I am the princess, right? Wow. The woman was too stunned to speak. Like, I <laughs> after you said that, now I'm now I'm really now I'm really, I'm really into it. it. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's a lot of effort. <laughs> it was a lot of years. Okay, Jessica Wow, I'm going to pack it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm taking it home with me. You know what? <laughs> it's a packet. Okay, Moving But you on. know, out of all people, I love Jessica Wow, her oh. spirit. She's one of the one true girl that's about sisterhood. And I say, like, coming on to season 11, she was just like, sister, I think we was at the Abbey, and she was drunk, child. And she, <laughs> I know, honey. <laughs> She drink vodka, honey. She trying to give me that um, pinnacle vodka. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. That's a, I think they gave it to her for free. She trying to give it to me. Well, but, it's close to free. That is girl, pinnacle. pinnacle. Right. She probably paid $10 for the bottle at the Abbey. And, you know, she tried to give it to me. But she was like, if you need anything, let me know. And I'm always here for you. Then I got on All Star 6. And then she was like, I'm here for you. <laughs> and then, I, lo and behold, I knew that she was going to... Oh, you be on All her. Stars. No, we was kind of preparing at the same time. Right. And so I know she was getting things together as well. So yeah. I I particularly love, love, love Jessica Wow. Totally. She's an absolute sweetheart. I've only mm -hmm. met her a couple times, but she is so, so, so nice for sure. Yeah. I'm excited to see what she does because even this, like, it does give me something that's new for Jessica. And I am excited to see what Jessica does and how she can expand upon this. Mm -hmm. So work. Go, Jessica. Okay, um, next up, walking into the workroom is Jimbo. I'm packing Jimbo, it. Jimbo, Jimbo. I love it. Every moment of it. Pack it. This is wild. And I think she walked in and she was like, I didn't come here to race. I came here to cruise. Like, I <laughs> I love it. She's so silly and so stupid for this. It's like, Just oh, wow. like, oh, my God, the sandal kills me. It's the sandal and, like, this hair is literally so sexy on her. Mm -hmm. Like this blonde bombshell moment, and she looks plumped up too, girl. She's got her juiced ass lips. Like she looks good as hell. All the right moves in all the right places. I live, it's an absolute packet for it's me. It's a packet for me. I love everything about this. This is the epitome of drag. Like if you don't get what drag is, that is drag. And I know she got a lot of backlash for some people saying that her look is very misogynistic. But I feel like as people that impersonate women, I think I feel like she impersonate per, impersonate a woman. Like that's not Big Ange right there. Like, 
If there's one thing I know Jimbo is not trying to do, it's disrespect anybody. No, and I know not that at all. Drag comes from a super respectful place. And but, I think that, you know, this but is. She is the woman I want to be. It's amazing. Like, baby, that is body. It's like, AG. But yeah. for real, though, like, for someone to put on that many prosthetics and to come out, we, we've never seen that done. No. In American Drag Race. And, like,. And she's from Canada. And she's from Canada. Look at the shoes. Of course she's from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I live like, this is drag. Like, I'm so excited for her. It's good. It's really good. I resonate with mm-hmm. this. I love it. Okay. Last but not least, we have La La Rie. Baby, she, the only thing she missing is like the red cape. Say right? ole. Oh my God. She, I definitely love how she took it to a time and a place with this outfit. I actually really like the garter with it. I know that Michelle doesn't like those moments, but to me, I'm really enjoying it. And um, I'm not crazy about the shoe. Um, I like the headpiece. I wish that it was an updo, though. I wish that we had some volume on the head with the hair just to give it a little more proportion. Um, it's going to be a racket for me. Not a packet. But I do I'll like give it, it a racket too. Yeah. Um, I feel like if it's on any other girl, it'll definitely be a sacket. Sure. But I think the way that she is carrying it. Yeah. I agree. I agree. Lala has that confidence and she's really good. I can't wait to see her. I fucking love Lala. Have you worked with her before? No surprisingly, no. Interesting. Oh, you would love her. She's a key. I have never I haven't worked with a lot of girls like past season eleven because sure. of COVID. Oh, sure. And so um most of the girls that I worked with are girls way before me. Yeah. I haven't got a chance to work with anybody. I finally got a chance to work with you. I know, finally. And I actually fell in love with Jan, honey. Oh my God. Well thanks, Mama. Yeah. yeah because we had a good time. Girl, we had such a great time. Yeah. Honey, the bond of Christmas. <laughs> I love it. Let me tell you. The Grinch sent out his little green treats, and we bonded. We sure did. Over snacks. Weed and wine. Weed and wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, wait. Out of all of these, Silk, who is your fave? Uh, my favorite has to be, I have to do a top three. Okay, give me a top three. Kahana. Yes. Jimbo. Okay. And that last spot, it's going to be a fight between, I'm going to go ahead and give it to her. The last spot go to Alexis Michelle. Okay. Alexis is my favorite for sure. And then I think I have to say Jimbo is second. And then I think I have to say, who's going to be my third spot? Hmm. I'm going to go with Kahana for sure. Yeah. It's giving top three. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty, y'all. We're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back. Woo! Woo! 